You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. Could Miles Brennan possibly return to LSU? Uh, ever since Brian Kelly was hired, I've been asked that question. I've been asked it quite a bit. And and the, the questions grew even louder when Max Johnson entered the transfer portal. So it's pretty much known at this point, right? Miles Brennan wants to go somewhere where he is guaranteed to be the starting quarterback. He's going to play one more season of college football, and he, he doesn't want to go somewhere where he might have to sit again. This is it. This is his last bite at the apple. So he's going to go somewhere where he's recruited to be the starter. Now, if he plays terribly and loses the job, that's on him. But he doesn't want to go somewhere where he's got to compete and potentially lose the job out to someone else. And you could say, what's wrong with that? Yeah, you need to be able to compete. Whatever. Say whatever you want. The guy stuck around LSU for a long time, and now he's trying to go somewhere where he can play. He can get on the field and play. And, and I, I don't fault him. It's, it's the way the system is set up. You don't have to like it. I don't have to. Whatever. It's irrelevant. It's the way the system is set up now. It's beneficial to the student athlete, and I'm okay with that. Well, Miles Brennan, who's been very quiet on social media, just a bit ago, on his Instagram story, posted this really cryptic picture. Uh, it's sort of like this foggy image. It's, it's a black and white image, and it's him in his LSU uniform throwing a football, which looks like in pregame warm-ups, warm but the whole image is sort of clouded to where all you could see is Brennan's head and then a part of the ball, and of course you could see he's wearing the LSU helmet and the LSU jersey. So this sort of cryptic post with, with no text or context anywhere has led a lot to wonder, is Miles Brennan maybe telling you he's coming back to LSU? Uh, there are internet reports. I would not say that they are from anyone credible that Miles Brennan is talking to Brian Kelly about coming back. Maybe that's the case, but... It's not really worth even reporting it because it's not from anyone credible. So if we do start to see some of those reports from credible outlets, okay, we can start to have that conversation. What is being reported right now um, is that Miles Brennan had an in-home visit from Nebraska this week. And that is, a, look, that's a very interesting possibility, okay? Scott Frost is at Nebraska. He just took a pay cut to remain at Nebraska. Adrian Martinez, who's been at Nebraska a long time and has just never had great success there despite a lot of expectation. Adrian Martinez has entered the transfer portal. So Nebraska is looking for someone to come in and be their starting quarterback. Mickey Joseph, of course, just left LSU. He's now at Nebraska. That's an open door there, poss possibly to get Brennan to Nebraska. So for a lot of reasons, that that does make a little bit of sense, potentially, with Miles Brennan to Nebraska. Um, the one thing I'm certain of is that LSU is going to add a transfer portal, a quarterback out of the transfer portal. I, I'm certain of that. Who is it? I, I don't know. But they're not going into this coming season with just Garrett Nussmeyer and Walker Howard as their only scholarship quarterbacks. That's not going to happen. Can they re-recruit Miles Brennan? Is there someone else in the transfer portal? Potentially. But what, I, what I'm very confident saying is they're not going to go into the season with just two quarterbacks, none of whom have played. If you look at the transfer portal right now, uh, Quinn Ewers uh, has left Ohio State, five-star. He's in the transfer portal. A lot of people seem to believe he's going to end up at AM. and I I don't really know. Uh, Spencer Rattler has left Oklahoma. Uh, he is being... Uh, uh, he is uh, being... Crystal Balled to UCLA. Uh, Dylan Gabriel from UCF. He is being Crystal Balled to Ole Miss. He is said to be tied to Jeff Levy. And there was a lot of talk about Dylan Gabriel coming to Baton Rouge if LSU hired Jeff Levy. Well, Levy is now going to Oklahoma. So could Dylan Gabriel potentially be a possibility for Oklahoma instead of Ole Miss? We'll wait and see how all that plays out. Um, 
Cameron Ward is a quarterback at Incarnate Word. He's actually the fourth highest rated transfer quarterback. And then the next two are Max Johnson and Miles Brennan. And then some names that you might have heard but maybe don't know a lot about. Jacob Zeno from Baylor. Zach Gibson uh, from Akron is going to Georgia Tech. Harrison Bailey from Tennessee. There's Adrian Martinez, who we talked about, is leaving Nebraska. So there's some prospects out there whose names you've heard. But what is just undeniable is that LSU has got to add another scholarship quarterback. And they got to do it via the transfer portal, someone with experience. It would make a lot of sense for Miles Brennan to come back to LSU. I, I want to be very clear, though, okay? I do not know what Miles Brennan's plan is. The only thing of which I am certain is that he wants to go somewhere where he will start immediately. That's the one thing of which I'm certain. How does that conversation go with Brian Kelly if they have it? I I don't know. I don't know what Brian Kelly would tell Miles Brennan. Does he want to have a completely open competition? Uh what, like for for whatever it's worth, you know, Garland Gillen, uh, a Fox A just tweeted this a bit ago. He said one thing is for certain with the LSU quarterback room going forward, Miles Brennan will not be a part of it. No chance he's coming back to the Tigers. Garland's a guy who cut, who's in New Orleans, who I'm sure has covered the, the Brennan and the Brennan family, and um, it, and would know. I mean, he he tweeted that at, at three o'clock today. So I mean, just a couple of hours ago, as all of this started buzzing and. The, the Brennan Instagram stories out there. Uh, that, that's a very definitive statement from someone who knows the kid and knows the family, and so we'll we'll see what comes of it. But if Brian Kelly were willing to go to Miles Brennan and say, hey, you've waited your chance to start at LSU, you will start the season as our starting quarterback. You'll begin the season as our starting quarterback in 2022. Miles Brennan would be silly not to consider that. A lot of people have asked, would he be eligible? Well, as long as he remained academically eligible, then yes, it's the only reason he'd be eligible at another school also. Even though he wasn't with the LSU football team after he entered the transfer portal, he still remained enrolled at school and stayed academically eligible. So, I mean, hell, he could jump right back in and play the bowl game if he wanted to, but he's, he's not, obviously, isn't going to do that. But, yes, he, he could. It seems like a very, very far-fetched idea that once you've walked out, it's very difficult to come back in. Not to say that door would be closed entirely, uh, if they wanted to. But the key to this entire conversation, the, the most central part of all of this, is who is going to be the offensive coordinator? Until you know who the OC is going to be and what style of offense that person wants to run, you can't answer that question. Because if that person wants a more mobile quarterback, then Miles Brennan ain't the guy. If that person... Want someone that's going to stand tall in the shotgun and sling the ball 35, 40 times a game? Brennan could be that guy. So before we even have the conversation about who that quarterback might be, you have to first have the answer to the question of who's going to be calling the plays and what's the offense going to look like? I mean, that's the same question that someone like Keishon Butte is waiting to get the answer to. So while we are so heavily focused right now on this recruiting class and the recruiting weekend, and that is important, I'm not saying... I'm not minimizing that in any way. That is very, very important. You've got to finish the staff. Brian Kelly has got to finish his coaching staff. And, and maybe, and the, my hope would be, that maybe he's got those commitments from those coaches that might be involved in bowl games, even high-level bowl games. And they'll wait till after that to be able to formally announce them coming to LSU. And if that's the case, fantastic. But at least you could tell these recruits now what what they're thinking, what their plan is. They could lay out a plan for all of these recruits. We'll get those answers in time. But Miles Brennan, if nothing else, it became much more interesting with this very cryptic Instagram story that he's put out there and still the lingering possibility of him ending up in Nebraska remains as they have gone in home with, uh, with Miles Brennan coming to meet him in Baton Rouge this week. All right, when we know something, we'll certainly pass it along. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.